Okay, so this is just a little mini lecture on the atom and subatomic particles and what those things look like. And so basically, going back to the 1900s, all that was known about the atom was that it had electrons in it and that it was also neutral. And so it was known that electrons are um, negative charged in nature and minus one. And so there had to be some other uh, particle present to balance out that negative charge so that overall it's neutral. But there really wasn't much else known besides that until a scientist named Ernest Rutherford decided to probe what the atom looks like. And so he did this by taking a piece of gold foil. And what he did was he set up this detector screen around it. And he basically emitted alpha particles at this piece of foil. And these are positive. And so if the atom was surrounded by positive charge, you would expect lots of deflection of these um, alpha particles, which would be detected by the screen, or the alpha particles could just pass straight through. And in fact, this is what he saw, was that only very rarely were the alpha particles deflected on different trajectories, and they were all, um, they had just passed through this piece of foil. And so what that told him was that the atom is actually mostly empty space. And so there must be some very small core or center, which you've probably heard is the nucleus. And the electrons must then just be kind of floating in space around the nucleus um, and orbiting that nucleus. And the positive charge must be concentrated in the nucleus. And so that would make sense because these alpha particles, in the very small instance that they hit that core and were deflected, um, that accounts for the rare instance of seeing the change in trajectory versus passing through all this empty space and just going straight through. So the protons must be in the nucleus and the electrons orbit around in these orbitals. And so that was the working model for the nucleus. Later experiments showed that there was a significant difference in the atomic weights of the elements. And so there was um, determined that there must be some other subatomic particle present too. And um, since the electrons and protons already cancel each other out in their charges, this other particle must be uh, neutral in nature, and so it's called the neutron. And that has the symbol of N0, and like I said, it's neutral, so it has a charge of zero, and its mass is one atomic unit. And this also resides in the nucleus. The other one that we talked about is the proton. This is plus, so it has a plus one charge. Its atomic mass is also one, and like Rutherford found, that proton resides in the nucleus. And then the last subatomic particle is the electron, and that is E minus, and that charge is one minus, and electrons are small. They are found to only weigh 0 0.0005 atomic mass units, and electrons orbit the nucleus. So there's three subatomic particles, and they all have different locations where electrons float around the nucleus and protons and neutrons reside at the core. And that's the atom and subatomic particles.